In this video, I'll demonstrate how to configure a standard wireless LAN using the Unleashed user interface. This type of wireless LAN can be used with specific options for employees or guests and is used frequently for most regular wireless network usages. So from the Unleashed dashboard, I would select Wi-Fi networks. And as you can see here, we have three WLANs already. So I'm going to select Create. I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to call this Standard WLAN and the type is standard and it says it's used for most regular wireless network usages the authentication method is open by default but it could be edu2.1x it could be a mac address i'm going to select wpa2 and i'm going to put in a password here and to make sure the password is what i think it is i'm going to show the password so we're going to put in a guest123 will be our password Normally the password would be a little bit more cryptic than that, but this is a demo. The accounting server is disabled by default, but if I had an accounting server, I could put that in here. We don't have one at this time, so we're not going to put one in. To show the advanced functions, I would click on the down arrow, and I could have 0 IT and DPSK, so I could enable 0 IT activation under my wireless LAN priority. By default, it is high. I could change the access VLAN. Maximum clients is 100 by default. I could change that, plus or minus a number of clients. Selected service is always on. I could select always off, or, or I could select specific. And if I did specific, I could put in a time, let's say from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. that I wanted people to use the network. Maybe I don't want people driving into my parking lot at night and using my Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna select always on. And under access control, I've got some features here. I can have per station uplink or downlink, or I can set that at a specific speed up and down. I could enable per SSID uplink and downlink access control. It gives me layer two or layer three and application visibility if I wanted to turn that on. For radio control, I can do load balancing. I can do band balancing. Uh, I've got some other features in here that I can do as well. I could do fast roaming if I wanted to. We're going to leave the defaults for those. And under others, I could force DHCP. Inactivity timeout is after one minute by default, but that could be changed. I could put in a whitelist and so forth. So we're going to leave all the defaults, but, but you have a lot of options of various ways you can configure your network. So we're going to click on OK, and that will create the wireless LAN for me. And as you can see, it has now showed up down here. If I wanted to edit that, I could go back to the top and I could select edit. Maybe I wanted to change some of my advanced features. I'm not gonna do that at this point in time. I could disable that wireless LAN or I could delete that wireless LAN. So now that we've created it, I'm gonna put on my client's hat and I'm gonna go ahead and log into that WLAN and just to make sure that it works. So if I go down to my network settings, Here's the standard wireless LAN that I set up. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to connect to it. It's going to ask me for a password. And that was my guest123. Then I'll click Next. So I'm going to just skip by this. I'm going to say No, and I should connect to it. So now it says it's connected and secure. So I could open up another tab just to make sure that I could browse the Internet. So I'll go back up here, and I'll open up another tab. And I've just browsed over to the Ruckus website, and I could browse around here and go down here and look at my Ruckus Unleashed product portfolio. So as you can see, connectivity is established. Other users can use this wireless LAN, so that's all you need to do to set up a standard wireless LAN using the Unleashed user interface.